The Shanae Timpishka, also known as La Boomba, is a tributary of the Amazon River, called the only boiling river in the world. It is 6.4 kilometers, 4.0 miles, long. It is known for the very high temperature of its waters, from 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit, to nearly 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The name means boiled by the heat of the sun, though the source of the heat is actually geothermal. Location and mythology The river is located in the Mayan Tuyaku Sanctuary, part of the Wanuko High Forest. The area is inhabited by an Ashaninka community. Local shamans believe that the boiling water is birthed by Yukamama, a giant serpent spirit known as the mother of the waters. The so-called boiling river is said to be the crown jewel of an unusual collection of three non-volcanic rivers in the area which also include the Salt River, a salty thermal stream, and the Hot River, a thermal freshwater stream, both much smaller in comparison to the boiling river. The most puzzling part was the sheer size of it. Hot springs aren't uncommon, and thermal pools get to these temperatures in other parts of the world. But nothing even comes close to the scope of the river. It's up to 25 meters, 82 feet, wide and 6 meters, 19.6 feet, deep, and runs burning hot for an incredible 6.24 kilometers, 3.87 miles. Add that to the fact that the river is around 700 kilometers, 435 miles, from the closest volcanic system, and the temperature just didn't make any sense. In fact, it's the only river of its kind anywhere in the world that we know of. A body of water the size of the boiling river requires a heat source with a lot of energy, yet the closest active volcano is more than 400 miles away and there are no known magmatic systems in the Amazon jungle. It turns out, it's not the sun that boils the water, but fault-fed hot springs. The water seeps deep into the earth, heats up underground, and resurfaces through faults and cracks. Imagine Earth is like a human body, with fault lines and cracks running through it like arteries. These earth arteries are filled with hot water, and when they come to the surface, we see geothermal manifestations, like the boiling river. Chemical analysis has revealed that the water in the river originally fell as rain. Eventually, the animals can no longer swim, and water fills their mouths and lungs causing them to be cooked from the inside out. Gruesome. Still, people do actually swim in the river, but only after heavy rainfalls when it's diluted with cold water. More often, the water is used to make tea and for cooking. The river area is also home to the Santuar Yohuistan and the Mayan Tuyaku, two native Amazonian healing communities, who have long considered it a sacred site and place of spiritual powers that only the most powerful community healers would visit to commune with the spirits and learn about the secret healing powers and rituals of their predecessors. The Shanae Timpishka faces threats from deforestation. According to National Geographic, it is in fact the local native population which carries out most of the deforestation around the area. Up to 99% of deforestation around the boiling river being caused by locals selling the larger and more expensive trees, then clear burning the rest. A local oil and gas company called Maple Energy has in fact taken to protecting some of the jungle around the area.